swing. Utrecht scores. Oh. What a goal! Oh. It doesn't get any better than this. That is the goal of the year in the National Hockey League. So I think if you pulled like 100 hockey fans randomly, um, you say name a Columbus Blue Jacket, probably 90 would say you. Like, what does that mean to you to be synonymous with an organization? I'm not going to lie, it's really cool. Yeah, it's, it's, and it's really special to me. The Blue Jackets has, have done everything for me and my family. When you think back at your career, and you obviously played at some other stops at the end, but what does Columbus mean to you? Yeah, Columbus means everything to me. Um, you know, they were the team that took a chance on, on a kid from Brampton first overall, and uh, I've never forgotten that. You know, giving back to the city and growing this city and, and watching my family grow up in this city now just makes it that much more special. Now, Jackets in front, shoot, score! Yes. Rick Nash, the captain, denied on a penalty shot, beats Hockey Mountain, and it's a 3-3 three, three hockey game. My best moment as a Blue Jacket is when I scored the uh, tying goal in Chicago to give us our first playoff berth as an organization. It was the first year after our owner passed away, John H. McConnell, and we, we kind of made a pact as a leadership group to do it for him. And it felt like the weight of the world was off my shoulders. And I remember just looking up to heaven to Mr. Mack and just kind of feeling like we finally did it. And I feel like he had a huge part of it uh, uh, that goal going across the uh, the line. Cool. We good? Yeah. Every year, Mr. McConnell, our owner, has invited us to his place, and um, you know we've missed that now for a couple of years for the obvious reasons of COVID world, and for the same obvious reasons again, he couldn't be here, so it's on video. So let's watch. Bringing Major League Sports to Columbus and watching the impact the Blue Jackets have had in our community has been a great thrill in my life and a tremendous source of pride for my family. Since our first season in 2000, over 300 different players have worn Columbus Blue Jacket jerseys, but no one has done it better than Rick Nash. Rick, you are our first player to wear number 61 as a Blue Jacket. You're also going to be the last player to wear number 61 as a Blue Jacket. It gives me great pleasure to let you know that on Saturday, March 5th, we're going to honor you and your family by raising 61 to the rafters at Nationwide Arena before our game against the Boston Bruins. Congratulations. I don't even know what to say, guys. Um, thank you to the Jackets organization. Garmo JD. I mean, it was it was tough when I got when I got traded from here. Um, it wasn't even very fun coming back. Uh, but I knew in my heart I was always a Blue Jacket. This is a huge deal, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy wearing the jersey as much as I did. Thank you very much. born and raised here, so Columbus is home to me, and Rick's chosen this to be home. To have that be up there permanently is, is really an honor, so, and I am emotional, so. <laughs> I'll wear a waterproof mascara. He was hockey in Columbus, really. Youth hockey around here, you were on the ice, you were trying to be 61. It's just crazy. I mean, I'm so, so honored, so humbled. If we redid the interview, the most special moment, and in my hockey career would be uh, getting my number retired. No doubt, no doubt whatsoever. This show makes me cry every week, I don't appreciate it. Uh, the reaction in his face when, they, when he announced that, he was a good kid when he was 18 years old, so that's what I love about Rick Nash. You coached him, what do you love about him? Yeah, zero maintenance, uh, that's who he is right there. He's just so humble, uh, such a great pro. Uh, doesn't say a lot, mm -hmm. uh, but you draw it to him just how he handles himself. So it's the first time I didn't realize that was going on. Yeah, that is really surprise. cool by Columbus, yeah. yes. Always a good move to marry an Ohio girl too, right, Barry? Yeah, it worked for me and uh, it worked for Rick Nash. So multi-type yeah, uh, multi player, you can play any style. No doubt. No. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.